but they are one of these teams that can kill anyone because the amount of individual skill on this team is kind of ridiculous. Kind of ridiculous, James. It's knife round, Dan. It's time for the sharp objects. Ooh, look at that. Look at this. I like I like the rust coat. I really like the rust coat uh, knives. I think I prefer... I feel like they need more rust on them, though. They've only got, like, battle scarred and whatever mine is. I don't even know what mine is. What is yours? I have a bayonet rust coat, but I don't know what grade it is. I think it's maybe well-worn or something. Okay, so... What are our three maps, Dan? So we have Inferno by Nylum. Well, I think it may be Nylum. I think someone said it's Nylum based on the, the pronunciation of the, of the Latin would be Nylum. And I, can't I don't remember think Americans speak Latin, Dan. I didn't remember what it was, though. They barely speak English. Whoa. You can get away with that because it's Europe times right now. <laughs> kind of. I'm sure there's people from all around the world. You're I'm in, of you're course you're joking. Offending. You're polarizing. I'm of course joking. Stop polarizing. I love, hey, I love Mariah Carey, right? Really? Everyone calm down. When I, was, when I was on my 21st birthday, I went to, New, to Times Square and Mariah Carey was there, just by chance. By chance? By chance. What happened? And she was singing her, her voice live is like CD quality. It's top tier, Dan. It is top tier. No filters needed. I would hope so. Okay, so now we are into the pistol round. CLG starting on the CT side. Going to have three people headed over towards the B-bomb side. Going to have four people rocking the armor and JDM64 will be the uh, defuse man. Yeah, the uh, the player Hans is that's, that's automatic for you guys. Automatic, automatic. He chose an I instead of an O, so it's automatic. Yeah, that causes Dan great. It causes me a lot of difficulty yeah. actually. But we will have a very fast push there. Tarek going for the info. Not even supported by a flash. That guy needs no flash. He is a man. The man of all men. The man to all rule all men is Tarek. A man wants the, to defend B. The shirtless one has uh, pulled back his. R.I.P. Shirtlessness. Banned Tarek. by Twitch TV. Yeah, <laughs> R.I.P. Shirtless Tarek. Now, regular Tarek. Tarek Classic. We have a very, very passive start now. And look at the damage that's been sustained by these players. That's actually significant because just a, a body tag or two will take... In fact, probably just a torso tag will take these guys down now. Um, FNS and uh, Deza. So we got the push coming into B from Neelam. And looks pretty good actually. They they have the bomb in place. It's going to go down on the grill. Valencia is covering full side, but they are taking a lot of hits here from coils. It will be eliminated that little push there by the CTs. But in comes Cutler to re-emerge with some added efforts. Two on two. Okay, so Valencia is going to be stuck in Banana for now with all of five HP, and it's bound to Hiko to try and hide for as long as possible. Two directions for him to hide from. FNS and Cutler don't have the kit actually, so FNS is going to have to hold it. And it's going to be down to Valens to try and stop this from happening. And indeed, he will go for the wide peak. Gets both players very well played by him. Nice clutch there to take the first round for the T side. An important round, as again, the T it's going to be very important for the Cs to uh, try and disrupt the CT economy as much as possible. And that is a great way to start. I think the thing with uh, Neelam as well is that the, this is a team that can just kind of be a little bit outrageous. They're one of those, those, uh, those squads where... They, they have a lot of skill and they can kind of pull off stuff that you wouldn't expect and kind of get away with it. And that can be hard to deal with sometimes. And of course, starting off with a good economy against the CTs on Inferno is a blessing from God himself, from Gaben. Lord Gaben himself has blessed thee, Neelam. As they have uh, now got a couple of Galils and three and a couple of Tech Nines as well. This is really nice because the Tech Nine is such a good running gun weapon. And if it's, it's, it's so good to have that utility on a round like this. We just got uh, scouting for the stacks. Neelan just pushing in actually, not confirming if it's a stack or not, but going in, looking for the frags. And Hayes is looking for those deeks. He's going to find one onto automatic, but the bomb is down. Now he could just hold this angle. This is really smart, actually. He can wait for his teammates whilst he's holding this angle, keeping construction clear for his teammates to get in there, which yeah. is really nice. Yeah, they're all rotating into CT spawn at the moment, but they seem to be gathering and not pushing. In fact, they're gathering and now they are leaving. So they're going to have... Uh a meeting over at the A-bomb site. So they're opting to... They don't have a kit, so I guess they're thinking with the time they have, they can't really clear the site, get the defuse, so let's just you know, save, save our stuff for the following round and try to cause more havoc. And Hayes will get some nice work in there, not managing to save his deeg for the following round, but he tries to keep... You can see, basically, he wanted to keep the players on the site for as long as possible because he wants them to die with him if necessary. And one will, but from the cold steel from that deagle, which has now disappeared. 
So, we're going to have two more players, Cutler and Tarek, with armor with five sevens. FNS and Hayes opting just for the USPS is going to save fully for the following round. See JDM64 also with the third smoke of the uh, of the quintuplet. Quintet. Then. Quintet. That's what I was trying to say. Quintuple. 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 The quintet. So, significant presence on banana from the uh, Nihilum 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 side. Let's go Nihilum. 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 Yes. Sausage rolls. No. Double smokes remaining for CLG. And uh, Nihilum are just, they're just waiting out the smokes here because they just want to go in. The issue, I've seen this happen actually before where a team will be like, well, we, we'll just wave all the smokes and then, then we'll go in, it's fine. We, you know, we'll overpower you with our push. The thing is that CLG have, a, have four guys here now, which is, of course, is problem number one. Problem number two is that they have another smoke. And by the time that smoke finishes, if they keep waiting, then they are going to be in a lot of trouble come the site push. This is why it's so important that we have Valens actually scouting out A right now. They've realized that, hey, actually, hey, it's, it's pretty open at the moment. Valens is going to go confirm. He can definitely sacrifice himself for this. Now they just need to go to A. This is how you do it. Issues. The issue here is that they did wait quite a while to actually do this. It will be confirmed now. Like They will know that they have to go for this plant and they do have just enough time. But I'm really happy that Neelim decided to use Valens in that way. Because had they not, you can see they would be in a lot of trouble, I think. Yeah, Tarek's got a school chimping ain't easy. I'll give that 6 out of 10, Dan. I think he could do better. Could call it Dialer Chimp, for example. Dialer Chimp? Dialer Chimp, why not? Chimping ain't easy. That is actually amazing. Or well, big chimping? I, I think Tarek's pretty awesome. He's an awesome dude. Good for you. I approve of his, uh, his names. I think they rival your own. Something of an artist with your names. Doesn't really make sense, but I'll go with it anyway. I have a lot of references on my inventory. Yeah. You also have a tiger tooth there, as what well. we saw one on automatic. But 3 0, and now we're going to see the buy from CLG. They're going to be in with all the rifles, all the nades, and the big sniper rifle, the AWP on JDM64. This guy is a monster with this weapon, he's an absolute menace. Now, what kind of infuriating plays is he going to throw Neelam's way in this round? It will be uh, passive to begin with, and I like this approach because you've just you've just gotten your buy. Let's see what, what happens when you play standard solid CT def defensive setups. See what happens then before you go for something aggressive. And they walk into him. They try to challenge him. James, they were foolish. Dan, he welcomed them with open arms. He welcomed Pastor Semphis to the church of DayGM64. He blessed him with the holy wine, Dan. That's holy wine. Is... He's still with the zero on the scoreboard, looking for one. Yeah, so they, they have middle, so they force the LG back. But this is actually excellent, because this is kind of the situation you want as the CTs. Um, they actually have used most of the smokes now, which is fine. It's 45 seconds left. They have a lot of incendiaries, so they can still play a good delay game. And because they've got the, the pick early on, this super safe opening from CLG is spot on. This will hopefully for them work out quite well because they've, they've, they're playing their advantage properly. This is good standard Counter-Strike. Now Valens will find his way. Oh, they did not have the info that it was open or that Valens was so deep down arch side. And now, oh, he's just going to tap away Cutler. So this is looking problematic. JDM64 is going to have to bring out the big plays. He needs to be uh, smiting more incoming terrorist players as they move their way into the bomb site. So good job so far. He's going to pick up another one. That's three kills already for JDM. And he's locking down this angle for the pit player. And that's really important. Will miss the shot though. And Hiko will get the opportunity to reposition towards quad now. Two players to deal with though in this immediate assault. And Tarek will take him down easily. So JDM64, James, has just done it for his team. This was a great round from him. Yeah, it's a good round indeed. They were put in a difficult position with that smoke down towards the library area. So they had an early advantage, but it wasn't, didn't manage to convert it, did Nylum. Uh, nice l lurking by Hiko there early on in the round. And also to get the frag onto the graveyard area, it's actually really difficult, really difficult to see players in graveyard and pit as well when they're behind uh, the uh, pillar, which has other names as well. So CLG make their way onto the scoreboard after 
an abrupt end to the pistol round from the uh, Nylum side, Nihilum. So, we're having a fast push, an early push here towards the B bomb site. FNS is going to get dinked, but he's still alive. And that means there's still a crossfire. Tarek hiding behind the smoke, but I'm going to notice him. There is somebody in the fountain area, just to his left. And somebody pushed towards tree, actually. So, the CTs, FNS has no idea, but Tempest is, is going to come through construction from the back. And he may crush this round for the T side. They're going straight for a plant. Still with uh, numerous CTs on the B bomb site, but they're finally going to get cleared out. More trays coming in. And uh, JDM64 is going to go down as well. So it's going to be a two versus two. A yeah, really good play there coming in from Automatic. And he's going to be able to allow Hiko to just easily uh, just assault this uh, this push from CRG. Cut us in now with the AK. Oh, he's going to just adjust a little bit too late. And Automatic with the 4K. Lovely stuff indeed from him. And 4-1 uh, is the scoreline now. Neelam going to be breaking the economy of CLG. What a key, key play. Uh, from automatic to just lock that down and, uh, and it's so cool as well because they're in such a nasty spot They uh, they, they got the plant in there they, they had to try because they could worry about trying to pick up players to try to clear out the site before they go for the plant And because you kind of lose a player's ability to shoot whilst the plant happens and the CTs push But that's actually what allowed the CTs to be in an exposed spot and then automatic clean them up And that was so key and now we have Neelam looking at a broken CT economy They're looking again for the stack and we should see Valens do the same play as the previous round. Wait, wait, uh, wait uh, for CLG to commit to a rotation as they did B in the previous situation like this. Then Valens can start pushing A and C. Is it? Is it clear? But nice Sanks. snap by Sanks, but it's going to cost him almost all of his life. And FNS will finish him off there. Everything's slowing down now for both sides as the smoke will start to disappear. And there's a fresh one there on CT. The CTs will be wondering what's going on, but they don't have the flashes to peek. Mylam going to refresh all the nades. Another Molotov, maybe, to go down. Good opening there by Semphis, but will they continue? They're still a bit tentative. He's got an automatic just waiting for the rotation, and he will punish, hazed. So the B, the A bomb site has been cleared. And CLG should probably try and play together with their last two people. They've pretty much got nothing to lose here, but Cutler's heading up on his own. He's on a fact-finding mission. And facts he may find. There's a smoke, however, which will block his vision for now. And maybe actually FNS could run distraction. I think he might have seen Automatic go into uh, Boiler, but he's not going to be able to do anything about it. He will go down. Nylum continue to extend their lead here on the T side. Five out of six rounds on the less favoured side is a humongous start. And CLG have to be concerned here in the first map of this best of three. Yeah, indeed. They're going to have to uh, get themselves back in this one very swiftly because Neelan picked up a lot of free cash from the uh, double eco kind of situation. Siyoji found them in, some, themselves in, sorry. Um, but uh, JDM64, he is thinking about different kinds of angles right now. He was the impact player when there was the last buy round, like proper buy round for Neelam. And he's going to pick up the frag. Hiko, that delayed timing on that peak, he was not expecting it. And JDM64 didn't even have any cover in apps. That was the, kind of a big risk, actually. He didn't know what's going on, but he still made the play. We've got a trade coming in uh, towards the B side here as uh, frags go backwards and forwards, but it's still one player. He's holding down the line. Hazed, the leader of CLG, just chilling by the sandbags, will re-smoke it. And that is a no-go now for Neelam, Neelam, at least in the near future. So they're going to turn their attention to Arch. Yeah, Cutler needs to be careful here on Arch. That wasn't a very good flashbang he threw there. It's a bit telegraphed. And he's trying to battle to hold things down. But he's going to get traded worst case scenario. As we've got three T's coming in. But JDM64 coming in in the nick of time. So that's going to be the A, the a bomb site held for now. But Semphis, we know how dangerous he is with the orb. But he's the last person standing. They know where he is now. Which means that the uh, team can rotate. Hayes is staying towards CT at the moment, maybe just oh. in case uh, he goes for the save, as the bomb is on the site. And uh, I don't know what just happened, but Cutler's looking the wrong way, presumably because his teammate was throwing in the flash, but that's going to be a free kill for Semphis. There's 20 seconds left. He still doesn't have the bomb here, so what is he going to opt to do? Looks like he still wants to oh. pressure, and he's going to find JDM. Has he got time to pick up the bomb and plant? We've got uh, the last CT Hayes heading towards the library, but he's just going to pop out and find the frag there. That really could have gone either way. Just unfortunate timing for CLG. Great damage done by Semphis. CLG get around, but they lose four players doing it. Man, you know what? That was the, the right call as well from Semphis because you don't expect that player to peek you. The safe play for Hayes is to wait just around the corner because then he has three and a half seconds whilst the plant has to happen 
to then get in position and just kill him. So because of where the bomb was. So Hayes pushing there doesn't like that's that's kind of uh, not going to happen most of the time I think. So I think Semphis he made the right play. Didn't get the last frag, but that was close. What damage though? You can see CLG reeling economically from the hits, the heavy hits dealt by Zemphis in the previous round. They have three Famases, a 5-7, and an AWP. So at least they have the AWP of JDM64. That thing has been powerful, but he's gonna miss the flick. That's an entry, if ever I saw one. Neelim moving in, automatically just running and gunning. Teammates behind him, and Neelim will have to be bonsite. Surely this has to be a save, unless Finesse can come out with something huge. Surely this must be a save at this point for CLG. Yeah, FNS trying to hold things down here in construction, but he's getting flashed. He's being completely blinded repeatedly. He has vision now, but he's also got a lot more guns to go against than he can muster. And that's going to be the save there for CLG. As soon as they got the pick onto JDM, that's a frag. He gets 90 times out of 100, if not more. But this occasion, he goes down, and they know that there is sure to be only one more CT on the map at that point, especially with the angle he's holding. It's not an aggressive angle further onto, you know, looking down banana and so on. So there can't be more people there. Finesse actually was reasonably close and managed to get to construction, but he could do nothing at all. So that's another round where CLG have been crushed by Nylem. And uh, you have to favor them, let's see if this continues. Credit to JDM though, I just want to say regarding his peek through apps in the round prior, as soon as he was smoked off, you could see the itchy feet. It's like, how can I be useful for the next 20 seconds while the smoke is down? And pushed uh, through apps, got that frag. But again, they find themselves without guns, without their armory. It's been stolen by them, the Neelan players. Yeah, and Senfis is rocking the AWP. And he's uh, he can be an explosive powerhouse as well as we just saw. And Valenz is uh, going to make his way up for that entry. Now, they know that uh, CLG, they be hurting. They be hurting something bad. Oh, that's a that's not so strong. <laughs> Messing the uh, Molotov up. It won't be. It won't. It's, it's not of. It is not of consequence though. As we have Neil and just it's covering each other, just looking for those uh, those peaks. What and a CLG, desperate situation. I mean, a pop flash play. I think is to be expected from from CLG. They're going to actually stack into a. This is a great gamble here from CLG. Really smart. Now, the problem is, is that Neil and do have banana now if that player is to actually try to push which he is right now he's i think he's slowly pushing he is they're going to discover that this is for free and this is so good the element trying to confirm the play of what th what is happening from the cts and now they know that b is actually clear so oh but it's it might be too late because they are losing men over towards a but the bomb is rotating to b now which has been confirmed completely clear but sanks will remain he remain just uh, as fodder to the remainder of the CT line. How about that for a double peek? Now, CLG have um, a challenge on their hands. Do they go for the 2v2 retake, trying to uh, take the AWP with them as well? Or do they just play for exit and try to kill the remaining players and save the AWP? It's an interesting question because surely the AWP at this point is not ideal for the retake here. But they've picked it up because they want JDM to have it. So automatic holding the edge of the smoke, which is going to be seriously disadvantageous for Hayes, but he's going to go straight past. They don't have a... Oh, they do have a kit actually on Hayes, and we're going to have the smoke defuse attempt coming in now, and there's only uh, automatic to try and find it, but he will get the insta frag on the plant position, and Cutler will decide to go and save the AWP. There's not much more he can do. And that's 7-2 to CLG. They saved the AWP, but they've lost another round. Yeah, and to any of those wondering what, like, what is going on with the, with the footsteps, Players are taking the shoes off, they're running on carpet, but also, it's a GoTV bug. That carpet is, is there. That's the GoTV bug. GoTV bug has introduced carpet into Counter-Strike. Yes. We've got the ninjas Real going. Real carpet, three inches deep. It is fluffy, James. It feels amazing. I want to roll in it immediately. So, we've got, we've got Nylum continuing the pressure here. Again, early presence in Banana. And we have CLG with an AWP. And they've gone to the car boot still and stolen the first car they could find. Unfortunately, it only had some fluffy toys in there and uh, a Fisher-Price little car or something. So they've got what they, all, all they could find, but it's not going to be much. First frag coming the way of Automatic and his team to open up the B-bomb site. Tarek trying to play close with the P250. Could get some one tap. There's one. He's done massive damage getting another frag as well. Finally gets traded by the CTs. So now it's a three versus three. I don't know if it's worth him trying to boost over this smoke, maybe, if with the... Uh, or there maybe the site's too close for it to work, but maybe worth the attempt. Tempest almost finds a frag 
through the smoke, unbeknownst to him. That is a very well-timed flashbang, but he's been exposed with, with no cover. Down to 8 HP. He's seen one CT, but manages to survive with his life. Would we'll reset his position and find the frag on the radio. A nice shot there by Hayes. He's going to get taken out, though. Cutler's left alive, looking for the shot over the top of the smoke, but little does he know. Valens might just close the gap. Oh, but not clo uh, quickly enough. Almost. Almost. But that won't be the frag. So Cutler, he will survive. That uh, AWP will find its way to JDM64 and Elim. So far, have been absolutely annihilating. CLG and Cutler will be undiscovered. He will find the frag onto Valens. Cheeky frag. But Cutler was running like he was being chased by the police. But he is the police, Dan. He's on a counter-terrorist side. He's supposed to be doing the chasing. Maybe he's defective. Yeah. He's defected from the good forces in this world. So uh, Hayes lining up the deep banana smoke there. Just going to toss that one over for his team. So do we have incendiaries? Yes, we do. We should see some incendiary play towards banana. But there's a lot of uh, teams that could be moving up. Are they going to go for it? It looks like they are going to be deterred by the incendiaries. And they're just going to hold back and let the smoke just sit and not go with any challenges. So smaller... Smaller efforts at the start of this round from Nia Limmers. They just, they just uh, chill. Looks like they're going to go in off. There's no re-smoke, re actually, which is interesting, because it allows them to actually retape it on. They're doing it immediately as well. So uh, CLG should probably go with a pop flash play at some point to get that info, just to try to just catch them with nades in their hands. It depends on how well you know a team, though. You want to try to get that pop flash play when they maybe have nades out, just to be extra sure you can, you can be safe or pick up a kill. Now, uh, usually, I think the one minute to, f to 40 second mark, depending on the team, is, is usually pretty good. But we're going to have uh, Neelam moving their way up now. Going to grab the bomb very shortly. And I think they, they're keeping that double back play available to them with, with where the bomb is positioned. So we're going to have some pressure in towards A at the moment. But COG are already all the way back. Yeah, they are all the way in the back. And they have multiple crossfire situations possible with Hayes playing from the site. Cutler, I think, is on the balcony who can fall into pit and then JDM on the arch. JDM may have an engagement with Automatic soon as they're getting closer and closer to each other, but there's action coming in both sides of the site and they're going for an early plant in the sneaky corner position and they're going to find the plant without taking the site. But it is not e the easiest to defend after the fact and we will see if they can do it. Only Valenz and Tempest now. Although Valenz is creeping in the apps and he, he has been spotted and that fire's going to cause him problems, but he's still going to find the frag onto Hayes. Cutler to trade. Tempest on Arch. He'll go down as well. And CLG finally take a round with at least three players surviving. And they get the AWP as well. Yeah, it's going to be three to eight now. And again, they're in the spot where um, the money situation is, is important. However, the consistent damage they have been dealing in some of these rounds has allowed them to build some cash here. We've got double AWP indeed. We have uh, Finesse with a fast timing towards Banana, it would seem. In Although he's going straight to, co uh, to Coils, actually, it would seem. So they're going to go with a passive setup with a third player lurking towards B. So they're kind of gambling that there could be an early B hit of this round, basically. That's, that's what the play is. And JDM going to get the apartments pick with his AWP. Semphis is down. He's no more. And he's got the angle towards Boiler. That's super strong with, AD with the AWP. Really, really strong. JDM w rolling out the welcome mat for the tease. But he's going to be found by three more, and that's going to be that. He's going to be caught in no man's land with a pistol out. And thanks to find a second frag onto Cutler as well. So, sweet revenge, and opens up the bomb site, Puts a smoke between him and the rest of the players. The rest of the opponents. CLG going for the retake here. One man disadvantage, and these smokes are going to slow them down. Something disgusting. Sanks still has another smoke in the bag. Molly's coming out as well, and CLG, no. This round is over. Okay, so... Just going to keep their weapons alive. What little they have, although what little they have is actually significant. We've got quite a lot of value on them, Act up to 18k as we can see. So, yeah, that's actually quite funny because even though there's four players left alive for, for Neelim, the value is actually this, almost the same. You can see the difference is like a thousand. Because he, uh, oh, actually they lost a guy, I think. Yeah, they lost a man there to the bomb, <laughs> I think. Unless uh, someone died there, I'm not sure. Goodbye, my friend. Either way, we have uh, some of Z drops in store. Three to nine, and that, that's kind of horrible again because that means CLG are just going to get reset on the uh, the, the loss bonus. So they're going to get reset down like a Super Nintendo, and it keeps happening, keeps happening. And Did that, you ever play Super Nintendo? Uh, no, I had a reset button. PC, Amiga 500 Plus, Commodore 64. 
none of this console stuff. When you went to... Never mind, we'll come back to it later. JDM gonna take down Semphis, shoot him in the elbow. That will be enough to find a frag. Thanks, is on, 16 HP. He has picked up the AWP. We'll see if he can operate it as well as Semphis has, although his opportunity to is uh, severely limited by the fact he is on life support at the moment. He is walking with a dialysis machine and he will be susceptible to nades. Hayes could uh, pop out and find an angle. However, Valenz is coming in for support and ooh, almost got caught sleeping there, but eventually finds the frag. Splash coming in, second frag for Hayes on Arch. And that is a complete shutdown there for now. Hiko again lurking in the apps, trying to get that one tap. Finds right piano key and there it goes, but he's the only person remaining now for Nihilum. Versus the four of CLG. This is a very rocky CT half actually for CLG. I would say I love the pick by uh, by Hiko there onto JDM because he he did he basically went for a little bit of a gamble and uh, he he did he did like a couple of taps onto onto the graveyard spot and of course JDM missed a shot. So then what he did was he actually crouch peaked with a pre fire. So he gambled everything that JDM would be in the opening because that's how well he knows the map. So he knows where the place is across there. So he can always beat the timing of JDM on the reactions because it's a pre fire and he and he got lucky that time. And that's that's a beautiful little trick that you can use as well at home. You can use this trick. Yeah, cr crouch picking was severely nerfed in the uh, AWP update, but it is still definitely possible. You just can't go as wide. Looking at how it was now, b uh, before to now, it's almost like skating around corners previously, so definitely uh, a fair nerf. Smoke's coming in towards B bombsite, and the whole congregation is here with Pastor Semphis for Nylum. Although we've got three CLG players ready to welcome them. So the double AWP is, uh, you know, this round it could be pretty powerful, but this is the kind of play, the overwhelming plays can be really, really strong. They have smokes as well to cut off the longer ranges, so they can just, they're going to isolate these on-site players. But with a third man straight in there, Hayes, he's going to pop flash himself in. We've all seen this play and it has worked fantastically. The other two went through the smoke and Hayes will follow. But in comes Hiko, he's had enough. And uh, we're having frags back and forth here. Automatic going to find one. Hiko as well. And that's it, the side is clear, 2-1-2 two two out of nowhere. JDM64 and Cutler left alive, looking for what they can find, but uh, I don't think these T's are going to be peaking all too much, although it looks like automatic. Oh my god, he's tagged playing him. with fire. He tagged him from 20 HP to 3 HP, See Dan. ya! Boom, there's the Kobe. He, that's a three-pointer for JDM, but there's still one more to find. They've got a Molotov, use the Molotov! JDM, they have no idea where Hiko is. They've used the Molotov in completely the wrong area. Nobody is watching the angle. And Hiko's going to pop out, Cutler looking the wrong way, will spin around and find the frag. And that will be another round in the back here for CLG. That could have gone either way, Dad. I wanted to see Flames. I wanted to see Burger King. Have it your way. Nobody's paid me for that. I'm going to say it anyway, Dan. <laughs> well, I... I wanted like, to see a flame-grilled Hiko with a side of Freedom Fries. All right, well, uh, to be honest, Hiko in that, that, that spot, that was such a big difference because CLG... Managed to pull it out. That's that's potentially a six rounds for them now. Like Crouching Tiger hidden Hiko. Could be on 10-11 otherwise. So that that is pretty strong. And, and CLG gonna go the a heavy hitting banana play, looking for the aggression, looking for the map control. Neilim though have shown that they do want to quickly retake banana. So it's CLG, this is a moment where you can uh, play against the meta of what people do in a setup like this and keep two people on a, on like crazy setups in banana, even deep predicting they'll flash through. And that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna just push straight through it. So I think Neilim, that, well, that's definitely something CLG can take advantage of, although we're pretty much at the end of this. But we've got Hayes, he's just running straight around the back. He's going to get a quick frag on Tahiko. Trade comes in, but it's a four on two in favor of the CTs. Automatic and thanks to try and convert this. This last round, they've done so well so far. An epic lead on the less favored side of Inferno, but JDM64 has other ideas. He is the shot stopper right now. Only Sanks remains. He's gone through the smoke. Hasn't been seen from the player on the balcony, but Cutler will come in and finish him off. 9-6 in favor of Nihilum. Yeah, that was, a, that was a really, really cool half there. And to be honest, CLG, they could have done so much worse. If you consider their sheer economic trauma, they are traumatized. Dan, the credit line was closed for a long time. But... Recession is over. We're in a more fruitful time, oh, and money right. is available. That's good. But we are in the, we're into the pistol now. We've got the players gliding around the map once again. Now, Nylum are going to go for the uh, normal 
three towards A and two towards B and go for a super fast engagement straight down mid using the range of those two SPSs, the superior range of the stock pistols. And Sanks will find himself two frags and CLG are almost all in coffins already, Dan. They are definitely suffering. But uh, we've got Haste and Tarek looking to redeem, looking to uh, breathe some life back into the CLG chances in this round. And so far, they've found themselves a path, an open path, and Valen's missing two incredibly key shots right there. If he'd hit one of those players, Tarek especially, he would have gone down. It would be two on one. But now, it is a two on two, a vastly different scenario for Neelam on the retake. Bomb is down now. They're, they are going to be uh, on the post plant positions. And yeah, Valens, he can get that smoke in, in a nice position here to try to force the player out or cover off Banana, which would be really nice force out someone from these positions. That's what it has to do. He's going to smoke the bomb instead, actually. It's worth noting that they have a kit. He's just going to go for it. I'm not sure about that. And now Hiko is going to pick up the kit and he's got no, no choice but to go for it either. James, I feel like that is that they're giving up on making a play there by just doing that. There were, there were there were three things they could have done there, Dan. There's a lot of stuff. There were three Anything things they could have done. Anything but that, James. Anything but that. Okay, three things they could have done in no particular order. They could have gone for the smoke diffuse. They could have tried to cut off Banana or the back of the site, assuming somebody's going to be, you know, just take a gamble and either do it on Banana or do it new box or do it in the uh, dark corner. Or they could have put the uh, nade, say, in the front of the fountain. So if somebody is Banana, they still can't see exactly where the bomb is because it's blocking, blocking off not just the bomb itself, but more around it. And, you know, still try and go, which is something I don't think is explored that much, but there we go. This, it's going to uh, be uh, Nihilim on the eco. We've got the MP7s coming out, Dan. It's like a party at Tupac's house right now. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, so uh, let's see what they can manage to do here, if they can get any damage done. They're playing it really passively at the moment. And uh, I know what I would have done, James. Of course, this is, this is like, we have time to actually make these decisions. We're not actually playing, so we get to... Put more 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 thought into this, but hang on, we can we can return to this in a moment, um, as no one will forget that moment. What the hell were those doing? I don't know, but we do have the push now. They are converging towards the A bomb site. They have the strength of numbers, the mighty numbers, the mighty. The horde, that they are the horde, the, the horde. For the horde, MP7s, very safe plan. In the well, it's very very uh, hard to cover that plan actually. Um, as opposed to some of the, the plants that are possible. But it won't matter all too much. Sanks is going to try to save. So, so the quickly, the thing, I think the, the, the play there, like if you're thinking about the two on two in that spot, the most common thing that people will do um, in, in a two on two situation where there's two of them left and the bomb can go down on B is heat and potty setup. That's actually really, really common because you can crossfire each other. It's, a, it's, it's really good. It's really, really good. It's just, go it's just good. It's Dan. just good. It's just really good. And and the thing is as well is that so you can use the smoke as you said either banana or or like on new box for example or or the or the dark corner because you have to clear one of those two places. So if you if you if you go to new boxes you have to clear that the back of the site. You have to because there's no way you're getting the the defuse off otherwise. But also if you if you just put it on the corner of the fountain as opposed to right on top of the bomb, then it's more obscure. It, it, it's harder. Yeah, it's more obscure for both those angles. And then yeah. you you can you can gamble on uh, just having somebody watching banana, for example. But these are things you need to think about doing before because it, it's too it's, yeah, there's yeah, too much yeah. going on to to think of it during the time. But you know, yeah. key, as key. a general concept. So here we go. Near them are stacking four people over towards B, four dudes around the grill. It is the weekend after all that. There's no beer either, James. It's a sad time. It's a sad time it's for a, all. It's a sober grill. It's a teetotal grill. All right, we've got the, uh, the information play, fact-finding mission. JDM's been sent out with a survey, and he's uh, looking to pick some boxes. He's going to find himself a kill, though, and a second player. Is there going to be another one? He will actually get traded by Cutler, so that's fine. That is actually OK. Now. Does he have any, if he had an HE, he could do something really cute and blow the MPC, MP7 back into a safer angle. But uh, they're not even really peeking. They're just uh, sitting still there. Not, not even moving. It's like uh, shooting some bots right there. But it will be a pretty easy take of the B-bomb side. That's a cheeky frag there from Valens. Cheeky frag. Just getting it through the smoke there with the... Uh, oh, no, they didn't clear the back of the site. Hiko, oh, my God, the collateral damage just coming in. What is happening right now? They're completely distracted. And now Tarek is like, guys, what on earth is going on on the bomb site? Looks like this is a task. 
Oh, BBQ Eco. Tarek. Tarek's gonna go in. When Tarek goes in, he will destroy them all. He's got nine seconds to find the last player, and he is gonna dance with him and shoot him in the face, Dan. The two pack party's gone all wrong, the police have been called, everyone's run off because the MP7s have come out and shot people in the face, Dan. God damn. So, they took a round they should not have taken. They stole the round. Dan. Oh, yeah, they, they stole the round. What are, the, what are the consequences? What are the punishments for stealing rounds, James? Well, there is no punishment. There is only reward. And the reward is a lovely buy for the CTs. Absolutely. And we don't have any AWPs in play, but we have full grenades, which is better than having an AWP, I think, with, with a lack of grenades. You can play... That's your AWP is, is very, very good at being proactive. Then I think that is yeah. it tends to be better because you can play... With the team play more, better, this more effectively. Is, this is a map of time management, and Nylon want to waste CLG's time. And those nades will come in handy to do so. CLG on an investigation mission. Got the nerd glasses on, clearing out the sites. They are definitely good at wasting time here. Even more so than the, the, the Tories, James. We got uh, a frag there from Sanks. Very nice defensive kill onto Haste. And that's really cool because they, they've given up middle and they've actually, like, as the CTs fall back, they've gained something from a lack of map control. That's, that evens out that kind of push-pull dynamic. So, hey, we've, we've lost middle, but one of you died. One of you had to die for that and you didn't get any kills. So they're going to fall back and Nihilim are going to find themselves in a position where they can float Semphis back to CT and they are going to go for that indeed as uh, he can spot Arch from there and have a fast rotation in. They have another floater as well in Valens. Now Automatic's going to see these players coming in to the bomb site. One already made it to pull. Flash through the smoke. Valens looking to go huge, but he gets dropped straight away by Finesse. Semphis by Coils, and he's got a great position there too. Distracted by the player at new boxes. Automatic, and between the criss cross fire, it's going to be Nihilem the standing very, very tall on the B-bomb site. 11 to 8, and they look to be uh, pretty strong at the moment. It's a tug of war, Dan, and CLG are feeling the burn. Their money is limited at the moment. And you can see that the, uh, the buy or lack of is... It's a desperate situation. The but Cutler, he's got a grenade. He's got a nade. I've got a grenade! The nade has been thrown, and the nade has unfortunately had zero effect on the round. <laughs> but... CLG, they do have Tech 9s and a P250. Again, these are guns where if they can get close enough, they can get the one taps on. Yeah. They're looking for they're looking for that C major onto the face of one of these Neilan players. But so far, the only one reasonably close is I believe Sanks on quad. Indeed it is, but even then I don't think he's in one tap range. So he has been tagged to 47. Now he needs to try and go to passive position before he gets tagged again. There's a little, little tickle there from Hayes, and they are chasing him down. But Semphis is coming in. Wow, S Sanks actually really. He's preaching there. to the crowd. Uh, what, what, is, what is this pasta thing? Well, he's got Where this Semphis. He's got this Semphis the peasant thing. Yeah. And then I saw the P, and I thought, right, I think pasta Semphis would fit him more. <laughs> you, you just decided that he should be a pasta. Well, Dan, last time when Let's we when we when we saw him in the face at qualifiers, running up mid as the T on his own with an orc, Dan, he was getting biblical on those CTs. All right, that's 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 true. So yeah, that is true. Past the Semphis. Showing these boys how it's done. All right, well, you, you at need, least we trying to. We need to get some fan art for this. We need the Semphis. MS Paints. It's got to be MS Paints. Semphis paint. as a pasta. Let's go. And an orc. And an orc. And an orc. You cannot. You, you, you the orc must be present as well. Okay, we have uh, Neelim now with, a f with the, the full buy situation against CLGs. Full buy, they only have the uh, Galil on JDM64, so you can't get the orb rolling in, unfortunately, for CLG. But they're looking for the map control, which is a very good way to start the round. And uh, I like the timing there. If you saw that Molly came in into the room and Tarek basically jumped with the timing, so he was ready as soon as the CT may have uh, run, run out there, should one be in the bedroom. So just good coordination worth noting from CLG. And Neelim are gambling towards the A play. They've got four players going there. Actually, Valencia actually going to go back straight away. And uh, he doesn't actually have to. They've got a player spotting from Car. If he has a smoke, which he doesn't, then that's actually... Okay, it's probably smart for him to be floating then because you can, you can afford to uh, just, just go to A if Automatic would have a smoke here because he can spot them coming up from Banana and then smoke 
go to the site, smoke the choke, and then uh, then he then uh, we can have the the the, the passive position from his teammate. That's the teammate. better. That's the better flash that Tempest is about to do. All too late though. We'll come back to that a bit later. Tarek far too close for comfort, and that's going to be Tempest out for the count. Two players left here for the CT side. Thanks, holding down pit. That's going to be very important as this plant comes in. Will allow automatic to cut to. Uh, well, he's got a very long rotation indeed, so uh, Sanks may not survive long enough to have him mount an offense, and indeed he won't. But he's still going to go for it, it seems. Or we'll try and play for some exits, maybe. Try and get an early frag. An automatic with that Virtus Pro sticker on his Nitro. Let's see if he can uh, pick up any damage here. Bomb ticking away. CLG looking to reclaim some momentum in this match. And Rule gets the tap, tap, the burst, the spray from Tarek, and it will. Be uh, three left alive for CLG. I think it was Cutler who was playing in Tempest's position on Arch, where Cutler threw a flashbang onto the roof above library, just a raw flashbang bouncing around and then going off. But you saw Tempest throwing it off the roof on the A bomb site, so it basically becomes a pop flash because you waste all that time in the trajectory. So it goes onto Arch and explodes immediately. That's the flash you want to do as a CT in that position. So it's not telegraphed. The people don't see it coming and they can't turn away from it. Unfortunately for him, Tarek was right around the corner, almost with a hand in his pocket, when he executed the flashback. We have, uh, again, the deep banana smoke play, and Senthus was actually pretty aggressively peeking on mid just now, trying to get it done, and uh, he's not going to actually spot anything just yet, so we'll have to see what is going to happen with Senthus, if he's going to be challenged, or if he himself is going to create the challenges, because they are going to start going into middle right now, looking for some altercations, looking for some issues. They have some problems with his Neelim guys, and they want to address them with guns. We have Semphis now slowly falling back behind the smoke. He's been isolated behind that smoke. His teammate Sanks over by Quad is going to get eliminated. This is going to cause a lot of pressure, and they have three players over here because they did rotate one from B due to the, the aggressive banana play that was afforded them. And they can actually double back now, CLG. They could get back onto banana, and uh, we'll have to see what they go for because they have... Okay, maybe they... Yeah, they would have to go now. They've got 35 seconds left to play with. Oh, the angle is so tight right there for Semphis. Is he going to be able to spot a pixel here? Looks like uh, he won't. And the play comes in 2A. Semphis with a reposition here. Needs to come out huge. Pass to Semphis with the opener. But Haze and Finesse coming in with two frags to answer. Three frags with combined with JDM64. And this is a disaster now for Neelim. Looks like CLG right back in this game. Yeah, Neelim just got turned into beef jerky there. And uh, CLG have themselves a tasty meal. Four surviving so far. We'll see if they go for the hunt here. Automatic, you can see he's just hiding there. Do you know what, uh, do you know what uh, Beef Jackie is hiding, James? Protein. Protein. Just like these fantastic quest bars you cannot see right now because we're in the game. Very oh, nice. But we are surrounded by a lot of protein at the moment, James. Oh, we are surrounded by protein, Dan. There's protein everywhere. There's protein to our left. On, on the floor. There's protein to our right. On There's the protein on the floor, on the table. It's been spread everywhere, Dan. <laughs> That's great. You have distributed protein all over the studio. And it's down to you, really? to, clean, it's down to, you to clean it up afterwards. Tell me more. Two round lead here for Nihilum. CLG doing their best to catch up. Tarek may be expecting the eco here. Has gone for the MP7. Let's see. Indeed. They have the money for better. Superior weaponry. He may be the bait. Indeed he is. He is leading the charge. Tarek is the boy who can go down and no one will give a monkeys in this round. But if he does find the frag, that is some bonus cash. Some cash in the bank. It's a rabbit in the hat, Dan. It's a feather in the bow. And what, other, what else you can think of? Candle in the handbag. Good. Candle in the handbag? Yeah. What, what kind of life have you led? CLG going for the push right now, and it's going to be automatic that could cause problems. He's going to pop off Tarek's helmet straight away, and now we have automatic looking for more. It's going to be a, a pretty tough situation for CLG to continue the push after that, so they're going to fall back right now. They've got actually plenty of time to do so. Looking for that A play now. And we have two players ready to receive this. We got, who is it? It's going to be Sanks. And it's going to be Valens, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Well, Sanks at the very least. And we've got the uh, Valens on the site there. So not able to get much out of this. Only a single kill. We got uh, a couple of tanks low. Hiko's going to run in. He's got an MP7. The problem is, though, he's got no armor. So maybe, maybe this grenade, it will fly true. Here it goes, sailing, soaring through the air. 
But uh, good tag actually took FNS down quite low, in fact. So great nade from Hiko. Two players are definitely very taggable. In this situation, though, they could go for the exits as the money is not spectacular on the CLG side. They can't afford the sparkling wine just yet. Still stuck on the Bucks Fizz. And uh, they will begin to make their exit. JDM just holding the angle just in case. Hiko stuck in mini pits. And uh, he is coming in as he has had enough. Actually, I think he was... Sorry, automatic. I think he was looking for any players who might be saving in the corner where he just died. So he was definitely looking to just take everyone with him. But there'll be no one. It will be a lonely death for automatic. A death for no one to remember. CLG 11. Neilim 12. That, uh, that climb has been significant. If no one's there to see you put your candle in your handbag, Dan, does it make a sound? Yes. CLG players moving up banana at the moment. Again, it's got now it's JDM leading the charge as opposed to Tarek with the li with the little MP7. Look at all those lasers coming the way of the lens. Fortunately, they're not attached to the heads of sharks, but they are attached to uh, North American players with mean intentions. Nades in, nades in, and that means it's time to go. We got Cutler looking for the entry. It's got uh, Tarek over by Paul. Making their way in right now, but uh, are we going to see that pop flash play through this, the smoke? I think they are very wary of this. They're actually going to catch that play and, uh, and discard it straight away. Valens is going to be the one who dies after making that attempt. And they are just sitting on their positions right now. Bomb is not being planted. There's still automatic at the back of the bomb site, not being killed just yet. That's He's back. actually been made aware of, and he has peaked a little bit too prematurely, and he will go down. So, really interesting take from CLG, one that Neolim felt pretty sorely. They've lost everyone, and for only one kill, and it's not even going to be impactful here. Considering how solid the beginning of this match was, the beginning of this map was for Neolim, CLG have brought it back to 12-12. They're giving them a taste of their own medicine, Dan, and a medicine taste disgusting. It tastes terrible. Taste of candles, most likely. Candles yeah. which have been in handbags, Dan, for far too long. Yeah. All right, we got 12-12. Uh, the Eco for Hiko and this is his team. You are so proud of yourself. I'm not. Eco Hiko is the worst rhyme I have heard this millennium. God damn. You are. You're not very nice, James. I am. You're just truth. You're you're honest though. I'm brutally honest, Dan. I am brutally honest. Okay, so uh, Hiko trying to spot what's going on in apps. So CLG, again, they should be able to clean this up fairly well. There's no armor on these players. So even if they're able to get a kill or two and pick up a weapon, it's going to be next to impossible or very, very difficult at the very least for them to do much more with it. So looking for exits, looking for guns, looking for ways to do just a little bit of damage here and there. But winning the round, that's surely not in the picture here for Neolim. This CLG slowly trying to wrap onto this A-bomb site and picking up the kills as they go. Hazed with one now as well. Sephis comes in from the back though, picks up. From the oh, back. not quite. No AWP for him. No AWP. But uh, Valencia and Automatic seem to follow as well. So 13 to 12, Neilim going to be in with a, a buy shortly. And it's going to be uh, a situation where they need to stop the, stop the bleeding right now or they are, it's close to being over for them. Yeah, they do need to stop the bleeding. And with five rounds in a row here for CLG, Neilim looking like hemophiliacs, Dan. But maybe now they can get, the, uh, get a W on the board here. CLG are getting far too close to that magical 16 for the comfort of Neilim. Passive opening so far from the CLG side, just starting to emerge through the apps down the bottom of Banana. And that would be, sorry, but the T-slope. That would be because of the smokes of Nihilim, who have taken a stronghold in B. They're setting up camp. And it will be CLG north of the wall. Right. Oh, right now it's looking pretty bad right now for CLG as they move into the crossfire. Stenfist and Sanks pulling out some great kills, but Haste going to stand on top of their dead bodies as he runs on past into a position to maybe get a bomb down, but it's actually uh, Cutler who's holding on to, well, Jadim's hold, who's holding on to the bomb, but automatic. They will not expect this. Great positioning. Takes down one 
And that was acceptable in his spot right now because we have a two-on-one for Cutler to try and clutch. He's got 30 seconds. He's going to go straight through the smoke. And it even looked like Valenz expected it. The fast one-on-one, -on -one, the perfect play from Cutler. This round is now well and truly open for CLG to take away from Nealon. That was a super beast play there from Cutler. And he has given himself a fighting chance. He has even the odds. And he has the angle where wherever Semphis comes from, Cutler will be ready. But Cutler has a Molotov. And that will give the game away with regards to his position. He banked on it being new box. It's not new box. Cutler, uh, uh, Semphis running out of time to try and find something here. Going for the fake defuse. And Cutler's not going to peek it. Cutler's a non believer at the Church of Semphis. Semphis having to run for his life. Cutler's going to chase him down. And will eliminate him. Run to the hills. I'm not familiar. Come on. Yes, no. you are. I'm not. What is yes, that? Yes, you are. What is, I, I'm not. What is that? Run for your life. Run to the hills. Run for your life. Come no. on. Iron Maiden. What is this? What is this? After, after the game. Play it. All right. Okay, so we've got Nihilum with triple FAMAS. Oh, dear. It's a FAMAS party. It's a party Th at House FAMAS. But they don't know that that smoke didn't land at Banana. Oh, but, but it did not land in banana. Yeah, <laughs> landed at all. It's, it's in someone's house, James. Yeah. So, so I was like, oh my Somebody god! Somebody threw Cut. a pizza on the roof, Dan. <laughs> I was gonna say call the fire police because I forgot what. Call the fire police, <laughs> bro. Do you even English? <laughs> I don't. I don't know at all. <laughs> hey, it's kind of, kind of, uh, kind of what it is. I'm, I require the fire police, please. <laughs> I, you might as well say like the next step would be the fire ambulance, please. <laughs> I require a fire ambulance policeman. <laughs> okay, so we have a three-man rotation over towards B. Nylem being led possibly to their deaths, but they will delay it should it go that way. Although they will have other ideas. They are a man down, and they have lost Arch for now. Hiko going back into library where he will seek, but will he find JDM64 looking for something himself? Valenz, ooh, this... Angle could be powerful should the T's push, but they are in fact moving away. The conga line is headed towards the bomb site, Dan. I'm slightly disappointed right there because Valens, he's ready to go all Terminator, just gun them all down from that perfect angle with the Mag 7. That was devious. Deviousness. But we have uh, Automatic with a very large task to deal with. There's fire, there's flames now. And there's five terrorists encroaching upon his bomb site. He's going to go for the spray down. Gets a huge amount of damage with two frags as well. And CLG are melting to the retake, but they have survived with enough. But the time is really up. The essence, there's no time to go for the plant. Oh no, they don't have the time. And it will be a victory for Neolim. This one is going down to the wire as Neolim have very limited funds. Had CLG won that round, Neolim have no money. And it's pretty much over. Neelam are back in this to a, due to a timeout. Such desperate times for both teams now. CLG still with a one-round lead, but if they lose this and don't get a plant, things are going to be less than ideal, to say the least. Valen's going to be limited to just a 5-7, but if he can position himself accordingly, he could do big things. We've even seen four-man... Uh, kills recently with just a 5-7, so we'll see if he can do that for his team. But again, CLG looking to take things over the line here. JDM's got to be back on the AWP. For Molotovs for the Terrors, we've got the Intenderies for the CT side as well. Passive, pas passive beginning for CLG. Just holding angles, waiting for the T's to have a look. You can see Semphis and his teammates just standing tall, top of mid. Bit of come at me bro action going on there. And that smoke will be well timed to stop an early uh, CLG seek for peaks. Presence now from CLG down banana, but that smoke will render them useless for a while. There will be no pushes from the uh, CT side in that direction. And they are playing passively towards A as well. So CLG will bide their time. Seems that they will be committed to the B bomb site once this smoke disappears. You can see all the nades they have. They can smoke new box oranges, second oranges. Whatever All of the like. oranges. Every last Just orange. Just burn the oranges. When life gives you oranges, destroy them. We have Neilim looking for this, this uh, defense here. And they've got three players who are ready to actually make that happen. But there's a bit of a float. Not the third committed just yet. I think he just took a nade to the jawline. But he will be able to pick up the frag. Finesse takes down automatic. They'll find Valens. And we have again an issue on the time right now. He needs to plant. They have to plant the bomb. He Too doesn't late. have time. Oh, not again. Another round. 
Another round going to Neolim due to timeout. That cannot happen. CLG, what is this? Dan, we need watch sponsorship right now. Somebody send me a timekeeper. I need to get some swatch on the go. Come on. Come on. 14-14, and I cannot imagine how much DDoS protection HLTV will need right now just for people looking to make threads. So 14-14, as Dan said, all to play for, and this is starting to get a little bit ridiculous. This is only game one between, between these two teams. Hayes getting an early pick. Trade's coming in from Neelam. Uh, One-man advantage for them. Lots of time on the clock now. CLG starting to rush. They don't want it to get anywhere near that zero. <laughs> Charging the A site. We've got one man rotating from Neelam, but FNS is going to be ready. FNS is going to be waiting. FNS is going to take him down while he's got a nade in his hand. Three versus three now. And CLG still have a minute to play with. And Neelam will surely have no idea oh. what's going on. Is it going to be A? Is it going to be B? Is it going to be construction? That's where Automatic's oh. waiting with an off angle. Oh, he's going to go for the spray. No, he messes up the spray. And that was so, so incredibly crucial. Now it's going to be a three on two after, after a post-plant situation for Neelam to deal with. And this time, surely CLG have this in the bag. They have all the time. They got nades. There's four flashes left right now as Sanks and Hiko go in from Banana. Okay, so there is a passive crossfire situation. Two people in the uh, construction area, but FNS is going to be the only one to reveal himself so far. He could be enough here. Hiko stuck in a sticky situation, and CLG bring it to game point after two massive failures, Dan. <laughs> that's, that's very nice of you to point it out. All right. So... CLG and Neelim could be closing this out, but you don't, you can't call it right now. You cannot call it. CLG can just let the clock. CLG are playing against Neelim, but also the third, the third player, James, which is they're the playing against Time itself. Stephen, Stephen Hawking is on the CT side. That <laughs> we have. The, oh, Sephis going in straight onto that T slope area with the 5 7. Picks up two kills. They are not messing around, and they have a three on two now. AK picked up by automatic. And the haze is was probably calling plays like guys we're gonna go here. Wait, 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 what's, what's going on? Everyone's dead. Now he's gonna make a new play, which which includes himself and finesse. Stephen Hawking is the unofficial coach of Neilim right now. We have uh, a nice smoke there from Hayes to uh, kind of block off the CTs from being able to push up from Banana, but uh, it will give away their position a little bit if they would have been nearby. Either way, Hiko is is uh, committed to a very strong position in pit, and you can expect. One or two frags, even though he has a 5.7, it's Eco, and it is a very good pistol. We have uh, the creep, and it's all on this. In they go, into Eco. Oh, no damage done by Eco here. This is looking so strong at the moment. They're going to be coming in now. There's 35 seconds left. The bomb gets planted. Oh, the angle spotted. Finesse has to readjust his position. Not planting for apps. And it's going to almost cost them right there. Automatic getting the spray down. Finesse down to 36. They're pushing in the flames. It's going to kind of funnel them a little bit. And that's going to allow Hayes to get a great angle for a headshot on Sykes. And now it's automatic. Everything on his shoulders for Nylum to bring this to an overtime. As he creeps in, the bomb getting further and further tick right now. It's looking really, really tough right There's no kit. There's no time to do this. Time once again playing a huge factor. And Hayes will finish it off 16 to 14. And CLG with an amazing 